Hello there. In this little film, I'm going to try to unravel the mystery of the Zeus fastener. Spelt D Z U S, pronounced Zeus. Otherwise known as the quarter turn fastener. If you look in the catalogue, you'll find uh, a couple of pages of our range of Zeus fasteners, um, together with diagrams and charts, which all looks very complicated. So I'm going to try to explain it to you and simplify it. This is the range of fasteners and springs that we stock, starting here with a standard dome fastener available in several different lengths. This is the regular shaped Zeus fastener that you're probably familiar with. This one's got a spring in the assembly. So as you, un as you undo the Zeus fastener, it automatically ejects. This one's just zinc plated and this one's a black one with a diamond shaped frame. This is the same thing, but with a, a welded on wing nut. So you can just operate it by hand without the use of a, a screwdriver. And pretty much the same again, but this is a round one, um, which spreads the load quite a bit more. There's a lot more surface area there. And this is the range of Zeus springs. This is how they mount on the panel, this way up. And the height of these springs increases as we go through the range by about half a millimeter a time. And this one on the end here is already fixed to a steel plate which you can weld straight onto a chassis tube. Makes life a little bit easier in some circumstances. I'm going to show you how to install a Zeus fastener using this piece of fiberglass which could represent a, a bonnet or a boot or a wing uh, and a piece of aluminium which could represent a chassis panel. And the first thing to do is to measure the total thickness of these two panels when they're pulled together. There we go. 5.7 millimeters total thickness and if you look in the catalog you'll see the dimension on this diagram total thickness and then if you look below it you'll see a range of thicknesses of these panels select the one that's the closest to the thickness of both of your panels together and look along the chart for the part number of the Zeus fastener that you need. That was the dome head chart. The same applies to the standard Zeus fastener, the wing and the weld plates. The thickness of your two panels is the first dimension you need to take. Okay, I've selected the correct Zeus fastener for this thickness of inner and outer panel and the correct spring that's going to mount on the back. Well, the first thing we need to do is to mark the position on the outer panel of the three holes that we're going to need to drill to install the fastener. Now the, the two mounting holes are one eighth of an inch diameter each and they're one inch apart. It's not metric because these are made in America. Um, so the distance between the mounting hole centers is one inch and the clearance hole for the sprung fastener is going to be right in the middle of them, half inch from each hole. So let's stick a little bit of masking tape pretty much where the hole is going to be on the outer panel. And then we draw a center line all the holes are going to be on a center line and we need to mark three centers 
the first one to the first fixing the second one an inch away for the second fixing and the clearance hole half an inch between the two right in the middle if you're fitting lots of Zeus fasteners to your project it might make sense to make a, a simple drilling jig uh, here's the two rivet holes and just an M8 bolt spot welded to the centre hole so drill your M8 hole through your panels prop in your jig and then you can drill your accurately spaced rivet holes move on to the next one and then we need to clamp the two panels together and go right through both the panels through the fiberglass and through the aluminium now you may not be able to get a clamp on both of your panels so when you've drilled your first hole you can keep the panels in position just by putting a Clico fastener in there Clico fastener is a temporary rivet that holds it all together in position while you drill the next hole be sure that you get it spot on and the middle one three mil drill is fine at this stage for the middle one we can open it out later and there we go we can take out the Clico fastener and take off the clamps and we have three holes in our outer panel three holes in our inner panel all perfectly aligned the next thing we need to do is make the clearance hole for the back of the mounting plate we could make a big parallel hole in there or we could make it much neater with a chamfered smaller hole so, so let's start with a clearance hole for the parallel part of the pressing and that's measuring 0.492 inches which is about half an inch and I'm going to be using a, our part number step 8 which is a step hole cutter 3 sixteenths to half inch so it's going to go all the way through to the maximum diameter half inch hole okay I've fitted a large 90 degree countersink bit in the drill and I've slowed the drill speed right down so let's make the countersink so keep, keep trying the faster in until the countersink is deep enough a little bit more yep that's perfect okay so we've got our three holes drilled the two holes for our two rivets and I've just placed them in there just regular aluminium dome rivets I've used three mil rivets here you could use three mil or one eighth and what we need to do where the rivets are poking through on the back 
it's just a countersink the back and I'll show you why okay there's the fastener installed through the holes and the rivets are sitting in there time to pull the rivets Okay, so we have the two rivets now poking through. They're pulled into the countersinks, but they're still a little bit over flush with the surface on the inside. So what we need to do first is knock out the little broken steel insert when we pulled the rivet, the bit that broke off and is still left inside the rivet. We can just use a plain nut if we put it over the rivet, turn it upside down, then we take a broken stalk that we just pulled from the rivet and knock it out. And the other one. Next job is to take a centre punch. This is quite a large one that's been ground to a, a 90 degree point. And find a, a block. This is a just a billet of round aluminium. You can put the rivet head on the block and put the punch in the pulled side of the rivet and spread it. With a hammer so that it spreads to fill the countersink which makes it now under flush okay time to fit the spring we've already got the three holes drilled in the aluminium plate uh, the center one we need to open out so it's a clearance hole for the center part of the quarter turn fastener which measures 8.6 millimeters so we can drill a 9 or 10 mil hole again I'm using a step drill a step hole cutter and a little bit of light oil and get a lovely clean cut Over. Just remove the, the burr from the other side. Perfect. Okay, there's the plate. And there goes the fastener popping through the clearance hole. It doesn't want to be too loose a fit uh, because this is the location uh, between the outer panel and the inner panel. So it will locate the position of the panels together. We now need to fit the spring on here, but same problem applies. We need to keep the two panels flush together. So we need to use countersunk rivets and we've got to countersink these two holes. Again, a slow speed on the drill, a nice sharp countersink bit 90 degree this is a tungsten carbide one and a little bit of WD-40 or light oil to help with the cut a couple of neat countersinks and now to fit the spring we've got th three mil countersunk rivets and 
Pong the rivets. There you go, the spring is fixed. So we've got the spring mounted on our inner panel and the quarter turn fastener mounted on the outer panel and put the two together. And this is a dedicated uh, Zeus fastener screwdriver, but you can make a similar thing out of a, a 5p coin or a penny coin soldered or silver soldered to a, a regular screwdriver. Here we go. Quarter turn, click, job done. Now if you find that the spring is too long or too short or too tight, you could put washers behind the spring between the plate and the spring when you rivet it up, or you can even, with a, a strong pair of pliers, you can even re-bend the, the shape of the spring slightly. Zeus Fastener.